Greetings, friend. Let's play Outward. Back into our hardcore run. We are in New Sirocco here. Trying to rebuild the city for these guys. The old city's crumbled into the magma. So we've got a couple houses in the works already. We've got to build a resource building too to move along. Let's see if we go to our journal. At least one house built, at least two resource production buildings. We're talking about Woodcutter's Lodge, Stonecutter's Mason Shop, or the Hunter's Lodge. So we got those. I was talking about getting Mafinos, but um, I'm going to hit up another dungeon here. I just want to clear out the bag a bit. Let's leave one thing, one set of Fang Nucks just for emergency's sake. Um, only need two antidotes. Let's get, let's get these in the stash. Barrier potion, maybe I'll take one. Um, let's get some of these out of there. Some of the varnishes we can clear out. Okay, grenades, put those away. Mm, yeah, common mushrooms. Wait till we have enough to do some dry mushroom bars. We could sell these recipes. Keep some of this stuff. Cali gray hairs, we'll sell that. Specimens unidentified. Got to get those identified by Evangeline. Let's take up six pounds in the bag. So let's do that. It's... Oi, over here. Got some samples I want to turn in. So there's some plant samples to look at. Yeah, there is. I see. Excellent. A pleasant surprise. There's some special materials growing in those spots. Where'd you find these? The Bloodroot added. Well, let's get to work. Uh, didn't give me a chance to answer. Uh, I found them in the uh, steam bath tunnels. Oops. You seem like you're curious, and then all of a sudden you just moved on. So, what's on the agenda today? I want to buy something. Let's sell them some things. Um. Astral Chakram. We'll, we'll sell all these. Slayer's Armor will maybe won't sell that. We'll we'll read that. We'll sell the Calgary Hairs. Um, we'll sell our jewels. Yeah, we'll sell the Mana Stones too. Power Coil, we'll keep that for Mephinos. We'll put that in the stash, that short handle for astral weapons. Crafting. Alright, let's confirm that. So, what's on the agenda today? Um, let's add some funds. Let's get rid of our silver. All these funds are gonna be used. Let's keep some silver. Alright. Timber, stones, food, we're doing okay on those right now. Okay, let's put that blood root away. Putting the blood root away, we'll put we'll read this. Slayer's armor, put that away. Keep the seaweed down at the bottom. The seaweed kind of funnels down to the bottom of that bag right there. Just kind of rots down there. We'll let that happen. Our water doing pretty good. Able roots, let's put those back because we don't know the able root recipe yet. So we'll just store those. Ambrane, we'll put that away. Thanks for the tips on the Ambrane, you know, the, the consequences. You can go through Ambrane withdrawal, it does stamina regen penalties, as well as, well, I'll keep one of these around for mana emergency. Stamina regen penalties, as well as, um, I think status effect penalties, is what you guys told me. So, sounds like it doesn't kill you. Let's enter into the Caldi. Let's hit up the, uh, I want to hit up the Cal Calcedony Cave. Just loot that place. Try to find some more unidentified specimens for Evangeline. The unidentified specimens, that's what's going to help you in your building process. And, you know, you can get bonus rocks, bonus timber, bonus food through those things. It's also going to be used in uh, awakening weapons and building the more advanced buildings. So the specimens are always going to be desired. 
and they weigh six pounds each, so that's the problem. Power coil, should have put that away in the stash. Should have put those away in the stash too, because we don't know what they're used for yet. I guess we're fine. We'll rock, we're rocking the pearl bird mask. Dancer's mask in the stash for now. Pearl bird for speed. Dun 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 dun. Alright. Chalcedony caves over this way. This train car. I think we just. Yeah, jump on it. Yeah, there you go. You gotta be careful of fall damage. But I remembered correctly that you can do some acrobatics onto that train car and be fine. That rail car. Um. Boozoos. Yeah, let's get some boozoos going. Okay. Nice. Okay. Oh, got me. He's weakened though. Nice. That guy got me. Oh. Getting taken to task. We're fine. Good. Nice. Good. Come on, stagger him. There you go. Nice. Good. These tusks are actually worth a decent amount. The blubber is kind of nice. It, uh, if it doesn't cause indigestion. Yeah, it'll cause indigestion. But it also gives you that strength bonus right there. Protection one. Physical protection plus three. Okay. Not strength. Protection. All right. Physical protection plus three? Okay. It's actually really good. Alright. Can't remember, did I already check this corpse here? Two alchemy kits. I'll take the mushrooms for the mushroom bars. That saber is actually worth some coin, but. Leave some space in the bag. All right, let's get to the crystals. Pretty easy to identify here. Kind of high up. More boozoos. Um, we'll go bolt rag. We'll go Blue Boon, I guess. We'll go Discipline, too. Can we go behind them? Can we go Mana Push? Nice. Good. Perfect. Good. Yeah, we're fine. A little sweep kick. Mix that in. Good. Ah, much, much easier work. Take the tusks. Might as well. Just take them. I think there's something like close to 40 silver for each tusk. I think. If I'm remembering cor correctly. Thick oil. Uh... I guess I'll take it. Lantern. Mm. Get rid of the silver. Yeah, more Boreos. I got the good blubber. Oh, yeah, he took me to task. He did. 
Mmm. Oh. Good. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there. Oh. Okay. Good. Oh, scary. Whoa. Rolled over it. Nice. Good. Good. Let's remain calm. It gets sketchy sometimes. Good. Good. Yeah. Little mana push sweet kick combo. Nice. Take the tusk once again. No tusk on that guy. Alright, we got some mana stone here. Hackmanite. Yeah, I did it. Spoke it. Hackmanite. Shouldn't have pressed my luck with the second time there. Um, more mana stone. Hackmanite, yep. Nope. All right, let's get into Chalcedony. Chalcedony Crystal Cave. Can't remember what it's called. Miscellaneous Dungeon? Grotto of Chalcedony. Fists are good. Um, hmm. Stamina is good. Health recovery two. Let's go. Let's go. Alpha jerky. Health health recovery. What is that? Health recovery three only. I thought it was higher than that. It's all right. No bitter spicy. That could be an issue. Pungent paste, though. I probably should have eaten that. Get rid of the max health and and stamina. I'll just drink the discipline potion. I'll take barrier potion, too. Grant's barrier. Go bolt varnish. There's always tough enemies in these dungeons. All right. The grotto. Let's get in here. Just loot the place up. Caldera is all about the loot. It's all about the collection of loot and wealth. Yeah, these dudes, these snails. They can be. They can be an issue. Okay. We're fine. Okay. Hmm. Let's just take our time. Yeah, he's got that. I stepped into that too too far, I guess. Nice. Got a bunch of hits off that time. This, oh, that guy's getting in on it. Court Speedle's getting in. Getting in on the action. Elemental. Ah, oh, random prismatic. Good. Nephrite gemstone. Those are those are decent. Come on. Yeah, staggering. Oh, what was that? Leave. Blue sand. I'll take a couple meats for, for uh, jerky. Frosted powder? 
chilling effect. It's like some sort of a sugar. It's not. Hmm. I guess I should take it. Use it to craft some of these Calderon, Calderon dishes here. What do we got in my lightning imbue? A minute. I have to make use. Try to make use of it. More quartz beetles. Good. Good, 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 good. You're fine. Okay, okay. Just take your time. No. Good, good. Oh, running around in circles. Good. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, get some mana push going. Come on, get out of there. Yeah, why didn't he, why can't he finish him off with that? There you go. Left hand uppercut. Crystal powder, more frosted powder. I guess I'll just take it. Calcedonia is kind of heavy, two pounds. Oh wow, the first time, first time I went through uh, Caldera, I crafted Calcedonia armor with the blacksmith. And wow, just terrible, just absolutely terrible. Just the look of it, the helmet. Someone, someone side with me on the helmet. That's so bad. All right, the snail. Something about helmets in this game, actually, a lot of them. Palladium helmet? Hmm. Unicorn? Okay, so... Let's go another varnish. I guess we'll go... If we go poison varnish... Does that give me... Oh, man. It doesn't give me anything. This dude came out here? Poison varnish doesn't give me decay damage. That's an issue. How'd that hit me? Okay. Take your time. Get out of there, good. Yeah. Oh. What am I doing? It's going nuts. Good. That thing will go. Did that take anything off him? That's the question. I hit him with elemental discharge. Okay. Good. Okay, does this take any help? Uh not enough mana for it. Right. I'll just wait him out. Don't get caught. Don't get caught in the rocks. Good. So basically this varnish is doing nothing for me. I'm just going raw weapon here. Again, no mana for elemental discharge. Come on, finish it. Yeah. Chrysocola beetle again. Nephrite gemstone, which I think is used in some nice crafting recipes. What do we got in here? Jump pile. Elemental immunity stability, okay. Frosted maze, yeah. I'll read it. Hmm, stability, I guess, yeah, we'll take it and just start using it. See this cave right here, this bonfire? I, I, I couldn't access that. First time I came through Caldera, I tried to get down there. I, I walked all over this cave trying to get down there. Could not access it. There's like a Cali Gray wandering around down there. And uh, if you can access that, let me know. 
Because I'd love to. I'd really love to. Okay. I already looted that guy. So there's no... Any unknown specimens around here? Nothing, huh? Unidentified? Ooh, tor crab sandwich. Let's just eat that. What does it do? Oh, gives me attack up. Physical attack up 20%. Gives me protection. Health recovery 3 only. Mining pick broke. Hackmanite. No, the mana stone I can't mine because of the broken pick. Okay. I'll be fine. Gather some common mushrooms. More quartz beetle. Okay. Oh, couldn't stagger him with the sweet kick. Oh, now he's staggered, yeah. Come on. Put him on his back. Just punish me. Yeah. Take your time. I guess. Yeah, there we go. Oh, well, what are you doing? For some reason, the fists don't hit this guy. Not really sure why. There we go. Left hand over the top. I love that animation right there. It's called Over the Top. Anyone know that movie, Over the Top? Sylvester Stallone. Not real well known. Mining pick broke, can't mine the ore. It's fine. Gravel beetle, popped maze, might as well eat it. What's it do, anything? Stamina? Stamina recovery one. Okay. Stamina recovery one. Where am I? The chairs and knees starting out. Poison rags. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of the poison varnish or rag because it doesn't do anything for me. Let me eat this paste. Let's get stamina recovery five. That's what I like to see. What are my knuckles? Okay, they're, they're not performing anymore. So. Advantage of them on the ground. Good. Good. Perfect. Take the tusk. Okay, the unidentified roots. There it is. I can't mine it. Yeah, let's go like this. Let's use another rag. Let's refresh it. Okay. Yeah, stagger him. Yeah. Come on. Hit the sweet kick. Blubber. Loving the blubber. Just kind of bite into that blubber steak. Eat it raw. Baked crescent. What does that do? I don't think it does much. Stamina recovery one, probably. Frosted maze, I already know it. Already checked that. Cold stone. This might be a good space to a little sleep and repair. Dude, I gotta repair knuckles. 
I gotta repair the mining pick. Set it up. Let's rest in the lap of luxury. Okay. Let's go Knuckles first, I guess. Sleep for one, guard for, let's see, repair for maybe four. Guard for four. 12% ambush. Should be fine. Good to have a little element of excitement. He rest goes without incident. Better prepared for the day. All right, thirsty. Oh, I thought that, thought that Boreal was alive. Scared me a bit. Let's get the mining pick repaired. Let's get out of there. I want to uh, drink a little bit. Top 10 ways to die in Outward Hardcore. Lack of thirst. That'd be, that'd be up there pretty high. I guess I'll... I don't really care about sleeping. Well, I guess I'll sleep for one. I don't know. Repair for four. I'm resting quite a bit right here. Hopefully I don't get ambushed with a mining pick equipped. Rest goes without incident. Boreo. Oh. Kind of tried to scare me a little bit. Hmm. Go harpoon to pocket. My bag's still doing really well. I guess the luxury tent, six pounds. That six pounds right there. All right. Get the unidentified plants. Unidentified roots, plant sample added. Six pounds. Why are the samples so heavy? Then you get them uh, evaluated by Ange Evangeline and they're like 0.5 pounds. I guess it's like Evangeline sorts out what's good and what's not, like most of it's waste. It's kind of how I justify it. Okay. Hmm. It's so spiritual. Oh yeah. You're fine. Nice. Good. Hungry? I realized recently hunger. Hunger takes your strength down. Let's eat some blubber. Bite into that fatty steak. That is blubber steak. Oh. Get out of there. Come on. Get to the ground. Cali gray hairs. More snails. Come on now. Oh no, something else. Quartz beetle. Get out of there. Oh, he's attacking him. Good. I kind of want to end the Quartz Beetle's life, actually. What's happening? Okay. Okay. Okay, good. I guess we're ganging up on the snail. Actually, the snail's under... The snail's going through... Uh... Get out of there, come on. He's healing himself? Oh, can't have that. Okay. 
Okay, let him do that. It's fine. I'll let him do that all day. Good. Funnel beetle. Yeah, yeah, bitter spicy teas. Ah, this is this is all good. This is all great. Just loading up on the beetles. The more beetles, the better. That's a good uh, philosophy for outward. Minor armor. Fully prevents burning. Hmm. What does that look like? Okay. Looks pretty cool. The bird mask doesn't look great with the bird mask, I guess. Um, it's in the bag, guys. I'm not gonna take it. It's too heavy. What have we got down here? Star mushroom. Nice, Hackmanite. Marathon, increased movement speed. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Let's just take it. Spiritual Varnish. Astral Mace. Astral weapons are pretty cool, actually. Melissa Spear. Hmm. I guess we'll take it. See if the bag will hold it. It probably won't eventually. As we keep going through this. This dungeon here. I think the, the Caldera dungeons are my favorite. Just as a whole. They're all big, they're all pretty vast and winding. Able root. Many compartments to them. A lot of tough enemies. Iron ore vein. Why iron it? I mean, mine it, I guess. Yeah. Just for the hope of a medium ruby. Large emerald. Just for that off chance. I've already been there. Come on. Know what you've done. Ornate chest. Nice. I think every one of these dungeons has an ornate chest. Slayer's Helm. We'll read that. We'll read the full Slayer's. Get the full Slayer's, Slayer's set. Emerald. There it is. Um, yeah, just take the movement speed again. I guess we'll take the beetle. What kind of stone is this? Some sort of a volcanic reaction there, I would I would guess. Mysterious crystal. Oh. A militia hammer is required to gather. Yeah, I think that's that that's involved in one of the further quests for the city. Yeah, see there's that see that? There's a Cali Gray way down there. Man, I really wanted to get there. I just don't think it's possible. I think it's just a detail. Just to give the dun just to give the cave a little more uh, depth. Okay. Didn't realize I could walk up this. Oh, maybe there is a way to get down there. I don't want to die. I don't want to fall off. You're cold? Alright. Scales? Scaled leather? From the Boreos? Hmm. The Boreos have scales? It's questionable. Okay. Palladium. Badly damaged mining pick. So how many Cali Grays? Okay. Elder. All right. So let's go bolt varnish. 
Um, less boon. Marshmallow. Turn our light lantern off to be able to sneak better. Yeah. Good. Nice. Get on the floor. Get on the floor and eat porcelain. Thanks. Appreciate it. Really appreciate your cooperation in that. Okay. Nice. Good. Oh, got caught up. Got really caught up. Now I'm doomed. Okay. Fine. Take your time. Oh, thought that would stagger him and it didn't. Good. Dude, that's the problem. One slip up, you get caught up in it. And with the light armor, it could be over in an instant. Okay, dump the spear immediately. Bag. Bag. Already we're talking about the bag. The temperature's going down. Gather the mushroom. Here it is, medium ruby, there it is. Nope. Just iron scrap. Did I loot this guy? I did. Remember what you've done. Short term memory loss. Fairly classic. On the channel. Ochre spice. Chalcedony is way too heavy. Able root. Yeah, stock up. Funnel beetle as well. Alright, so. I thought there was another area to this cave. Hmm, my bag. Caligray staff. I feel like it's worth a lot of money. That's why I'm keeping it. Six pounds. Kills me. Uh, I guess these are kind of heavy, uh. All right. The boreal blubber is kind of heavy too. More mushrooms. We gotta get some more dry mushroom bars going. That'll be good. I got the ornate chest. Oh yeah, there's uh. There's a gargoyle in here, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's kind of prep. Let's get... I think I gotta get full health because... He'll just quickly put an end to me if I get caught up once. If I only have 50% of my health. Why am I eating those? I could just take great life. I'm going to have to take great life anyways. How's my stamina? Stamina recovery 5 for 660. I'm fine. I'm doomed. It's alright. Doomed's okay, I guess. Confused. I mean, yeah, confused. It's probably fine. I guess I'm easily knocked. Yeah, okay, let's go stability to offset the confusion a bit. Um, we'll go ethereal. I think they're weak to ethereal. Let's go mist. Let's go discipline. Rage. Actually, rage? I don't think. I don't not don't really have the ability to stagger him. At least I never could the first time I went through here. Oh, there it is. 
Okay. Oh, there it is. That attack kills me. Oh, dude, the sword. Oh. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good. Dropping. Gargoyle Urn Shard. Sapphire. Palladium. <sighs> My mining pick. It's gonna break? What if I find another unidentified thing? I'm starting to get cold again. Let's eat some more blubber. Yeah, I bite into that thick steak. There it is, indigestion, finally. I was getting lucky with the with the blubber. I guess we'll we'll mine it. For nothing. For absolutely nothing. We got a giant oh, okay, they bored into here with that giant machine. Found the gargoyle, probably all died. Well, I collected some chalcedony here. Some crystals. They strung up some lights. This, is, this has definitely been worked in. They got their flag out here. So we're in very much explored territory. So I only have one identified... One unidentified... Like element. Mineral. Plant. I feel like there's got to be more. It's usually two. Um, did I miss it somewhere? Oh no, I'm cold. I'm getting colder. Just hunting for the unidentified. Please don't get stuck. If I get stuck on this playthrough, like, what do I do? Die? Die and hope? It doesn't wipe me my saves? I guess, at that point, I just die and hope. I never got stuck in the caldera, though. I wonder if they tested all things to make sure you couldn't get stuck. Another question I had for you guys, too, is the caldera, when you start building the advanced buildings, the gladiators, gladiators arena, if you build that, if you die in that on hardcore, can you die permanently? Because the way it's set up, it's kind of like a, it's kind of more of a sporting event and you go and fight, but you lose all your health and technically it's like just like when you die in the game, when you pass out in the real game. But I just don't know if that can ever give you the permanent death scenario. Because I'd like to I'd like to build the Gladiators Arena. I'd like to get some weapon skills. I'd like to get the uh, uh, mine rich iron, I guess. Medium ruby, there it is. Coal has been contracted. Do I have soothing tea? I don't. Hmm. Cures infections instantly. Burn health. Curing ambrain withdrawal. Curing indigestion. So all the Calderan teas have basically replaced the original teas. Except for the cold though. The soothing tea. I'm going to need some soothing tea. Yeah, the Gladius Arena. Can you die permanently in it? I tried to look, actually. I, I googled it, looked on the wiki on the Gladiators Arena, and couldn't find a thing on it. Couldn't find a thing talking about hardcore, how it plays out. Oh, same thing too, Caligre Arena. Same thing. Same question I have. 
Can you die permanently in it? Hack my knife. Yeah. Honestly, I would I would think you wouldn't. Star mushroom. I was trying to find this last unidentified. Well, maybe it's not in here. I just always thought there was two per. You know, two unidentified samples per dungeon. Or three sometimes. Maybe it's more random than I thought. Maybe it's like sometimes there's none, sometimes there's just one. Sometimes there's two, sometimes there's three. So I guess I'll just go with it. Yeah, I'd like to hit up Caligray Arena. Get uh, Timothy as a pet. Have him follow me around. It's kind of fun. At the same time, though, if it's, if it's permadeath, I don't really want to mess around with it. I guess I'll leave. I guess I'll exit into the caldera just with one sample. Did I get mole pigs? No. Strange. Just living with it. the one sample. Okay, it's night time. Ah, just take it in. Take in this look right here. Eldest brother looming large in the back. Drop. Peaches. See the peach tree out in the distance? Dun 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 Alright. Let's get the light off and really just enjoy it. Yes. See the shafts of moonlight? Yeah, mm-hmm. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. Sometimes I get lost. Don't want to fall off a cliff in the dark. Yeah. The ship. That mobile ship, that'd be, that's a thing. I've actually... I realized, I came to find out how to access the bottom level of the ship, and I never did. But I know when it's parked in a certain location, you can access the bottom level. I never have, so I'm excited to do that this time. I had access the top and the, the main, the main frame of the ship. But never access the uh, bottom. Looking forward to that. All right, we're rolling back in to New Sirocco. The bag's loaded up. Didn't have to roll home this time. Didn't have to. Didn't have to dodge roll home. That's usually my life in the Caldera. I guess it's just kind of one dungeon and done. One and done. One and back. Unload. Back again. Hmm. Let's go jerky, I get bitter spicy, yeah. Okay, bitter spicy is still useful too. That's another tea that hasn't been totally replaced. Try mushroom bars, there it is. Ice tea? The burnt man and cool boon. Indigestion curing. Jerky, yeah. Hmm. So, oh yeah. Mineral tea? Alright. Bull varnish. Sure. Firestone? Um. 
Sure. Yes. Do it. So is this guy better yet? The morale is so low. I do like that about Sirocco too. It, everything's everyone's kind of down in the dumps at first. Things just look difficult. Everyone's just going through it. I got this sickness here. I don't have any soothing tea. Nothing that'll. Something else gives me. Oh, doesn't termit pottage? Yeah, termit pottage cures a cold. Or it begins to cure a cold. Hmm, what do I have food wise? I guess I don't really have anything. I've got two of these. I've got so much more stuff to sell. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I guess no one has enough silver yet. Get the able root in there. Blubber, I kind of like having that in the bag. It's heavy though. Kind of like that sloshing around in there. Maybe that'll probably, that kind of slips down towards the tail of the bag as well. Just can you imagine just digging your hand in the tail of that bag? Just like, it's all really narrow and just, who knows what's lost down there. So many things are lost down there. All right. Hairs, astral mace. Yeah, let's let's keep putting it away. Keep putting it away. Frosted maze, the urn shard. The uh, iron. I guess just put it away. We'll get that identified. Tusks we'll put away. All the jewels I guess we'll put away. No one can no one has the money to sell to purchase some of my things. I guess move the oil to stash. I can make warm potions, I guess. Sell them. Firestones. Do I have gay berry wine? No, nothing. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep the varnishes. Let's add another spiritual. Doing good on varnishes. Kasakala beetles, leave those in there until they get figured out. Let's get. Let's make some more dry mushroom bars with that. Put some crystal powder in back in. Go, yeah. Really, I, elemental immunity. I hardly ever use it. Lasts for like a minute only. Okay, so soothing tea. You know what? I have a, I have a seaweed, don't I? Wait, I used. I know the recipe for that, right? There's no way I don't know that recipe. Gather some water. Let's cleanse the water with the cooking pot. Yeah, soothing tea, there it is. Iced tea I can make. Removes burnt mana, which isn't really a thing that's a big deal to me. More mineral teas. Guess I'll do one more. Thirsty? Let's drink. Let's actually empty one of these water skins. They're spicy. Only got three. Stamina's pretty burnt. Let's get this plant sample identified. So there you are. Yeah, I'm here to give samples in. So there's some plant samples to look at. Yeah, there is. I see. You've earned this. Thousand funds? 
Some of these routes are known aphrodisiacs. Some Sorbor Academy, again, very nicely. More aphrodisiacs for the guy in Sorbor. Well, let's get to work. Well, all right, let's get to work. Let's actually check in on the housing. Let's see how the builders are doing over here. Go to a residential area of the city. Let me know what you guys think of the housing uh, completed in three days. I guess it's only been one day. Yeah, do you guys like the city building when you're playing? You feel it's a little tedious? I'll admit it's a little bit, it's a little bit drawn out. A little bit drawn out. It's painful it is to say anything negative about the outward. But I still enjoy doing it, no matter how drawn out it is. All right. What do we got going? We got our mining pick broken. Is there a good mining pick in here? I want to say there is. I think there's a good mining pick in here. And a harpoon. Yes. Harpoon's still okay. Our bag's at 50. Let's put the funnel beetle away until we know what it's used for. Gravel beetles. Put some of those away. Kind of wish I had more bitter spicy teas. Gotta get ochre spice. How do you get ochre spice here in the caldera? I guess green mushrooms. Common mushrooms. I don't think I'm gonna use these right now. Stability potion. Take that for emergencies. Move to pocket. Barrier potion, shimmer potion. Grants barrier and 50% buff to elemental attack. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Five jerkies. See, this is. I've got some health restoration already with the bread of the wild, so we're. F Let's put those jerkies away. That's health restoration too. Bandages as well. More gems. Greasy fern. Just continuing to store greasy ferns. Someone kind of checks out my stash. Like, why do you have 37 greasy ferns kind of stacked up and rotting? Well, I'm just trying to find that great life recipe. Harmatin. I've got a couple leads on it from you guys. Harmatin and Levant. The two spots that may have it. So this cold, what's it going to do to me here? The cold kills me. Stamina region minus 15%. Okay, so with all my stamina reduction, it's actually not, not terrible. Pearlbird mask. I think I'm gonna go dancers. Get my dancer mask back on. To try to offset the uh, stamina penalty from the cold. Oh, I got the soothing tea now. Totally forgot. I was just about to say, how can I get a soothing tea? I got a soothing tea. All right, now we're. Things are looking up. Things are looking sky high right here. Okay, let's get our dancer's mask equipped. Put 
Get the bird mask. Uh, I guess we'll put it in the bag. Put it in the bag for now. We'll go. Yeah, we'll go bitter spicy. Go marshmallow tartine. Couldn't keep it in. That's an issue. It's an issue with the indigestion. Let's hit up another dungeon. I think we'll go uh, Mir Mirmatar Haven. What do the knuckles look like? They look decent. They look decent. So got my tent ready to sleep whenever I need. Is the sun gonna rise here? I think we're looks like we're approaching. No, there's a sunset over there. I think we're I'm going to be in the dead of night here pretty soon. It's alright. You know how, how I feel about night travel. In fact... It's really up the beauty of it. Drink it in. I really like some health, health, uh, stamina issues. Really like some stamina regen. I guess I'll get it from the water. Um, I guess I'll drink a great endurance. Probably a waste, but honestly, hardly ever use them. So the endurance. Potions and potions and things you're never gonna You know not be able to keep it in because of indigestion. You're always gonna be able to take it potions Food and teas actually teas will work too. Yeah, it's just food Food's the only thing you have to worry about throwing up Do I have any mana regen? Slow mana regen Hmm, no, I guess I don't. Where's the Mirmatar cave? I think it's due, due west. Due west of the... Yeah, there it is. It's Telltale right there, the pointed, pointed mound. Mm-hmm. coughing. I think what I want to do is, yeah, we'll loot the dungeon, we'll get back, we'll, uh, it might help with the construction for seven days, you can help for seven days, basically time just flies by, may do that, and then get the resource buildings going, we've got two resource buildings to make for the quest, I'll probably go stone cutters, hmm, I might do hunter's lodge, Bring in some more food. Get those built. Oh, there's a mirror right there. Another mirror. Get those built and then maybe head to try to find... Maybe head to the plateau and get some... Our knuckles enchanted. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, let's go bolt varnish. I feel like a lot of things are weak against lightning. I don't think these guys are weak against lightning, though. Either. Come on, get out of there. Yes, good. Got caught up. Good. Oh. He's got a good reach with that left hand hook. 
Mirum tongue, sure. Alpha meat, yeah. Can't remember if I know alpha jerky with this character. Again, not cooking anything I don't I don't know the recipe for. That's the issue there. Yes, good. Nice. Yeah, that time got to dodge twice, I guess. Oh, got caught up. How do I get greedy? Why do I get greedy? That's the question. I guess I want to end him quicker. Oh, yes. Large emerald. Brutal club. Cheers and ease. Oh, snail. Oh, what do I got in my varnish? I got time. I got time for the snail. This is a different one, though, huh? Okay, fire blast. Oh. Okay. Fine. That lets me just go to town on him, I guess. Healing himself? No, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. Aquamarine, another funnel beetle, I guess. Mirum Cave. This cave's got a couple different entrances, exits, I think. Another snail. Near Retar's Haven. Let's get in here. Let's get some health regen going. Should have got health regen going a long time ago. So I guess I'll go. Go water. Health regen, I guess, um, Bread of the Wild? Let's go with the Blubber. Yeah. Good. I'm already receding indigestion. I wonder if it, the Blubber can't give me, like, reset my indigestion, can it? I'm not sure. I have to experiment with that, but that time it didn't. All right. I'm going to stop it here for the playthrough for today. Um, we did good. Cleared out Chalcedony Cave, Grotto of Chalcedony. Really looted that place up. Now we're going to loot this place up. We've got a mirror in the distance right now. I better quit before he gets at me. Well, thanks for watching again, guys. Thanks for comments. Uh, I had a couple questions for you this episode. I'd appreciate it if you guys got back to me on those. And I'll see you in the next one. Will. Bye.